Hello boys and girls, and welcome. Today we are farming these noisy aspids behind me. Okay. Alright. So, let's have a look somewhere. Pretty straightforward as usual. This is just my layout to keep it nice and organized. Our adults stay at the top. Babies fall on through, and we kill them once they are adults. Aspids we breed with mushrooms, of course. So we just go ahead and we spam them with mushrooms like so. And we hang around here. And bloop. Should be another bloop. There we go. Babies on through. Of course, once they are adults, we just give them the old wacky khaki. You can grab the XP just by standing here. These are hoppers, by the way. So water just pushing into hoppers. And drops go in here. They give us slime balls. Aspid meat, which you guys will probably use for your battle retos and the moss pie. And this stuff, which is kind of meh. Okay, dokey. Oh, by the way, I um, always try and use variants like with all of them. Variants, when they breed, have got like, I think, a 50-50% chance to give you a variant baby as well. And they give double drops, so always try and go for variants. Cool. Okay, let's build it. Alrighty. So I have us a couple of guys here to use in the farm, and we'll build the farm over here. So, let's use some fences, and we make the floor out of three fences. So, like so. So they can drop on through. And then over here, we just make it too high, stop them from escaping. Up in this middle though. And like so, like so, like so. Okay. And here we just build some stairs. We need them to follow us up there. Okay. That is our little pin. This is seven blocks wide. Just for myself, you can make it, you know, smaller, bigger, however wide you like. Doesn't have to be specific. And now let's go get these guys. They spawn, of course, in uh, dark forest or roofed forest biomes. I think it's called now. And swamplands. And we of course breed them with mushrooms, and they will follow us with mushrooms, but they leave this toxic fart trail, which is not good for our health. So if you haven't got poison resist, it'll mess you up. And I don't like luring them with mushrooms, because they bring this like on top of us, you see, they follow us like right in the face. They want to be real up close and personal for these mushrooms, so yeah. Not good for us, so therefore I opt to use leads instead, along with my mouth. Okay, so let's just get on top of this bad boy, and I like doing this with most of my mobs, well, all the mobs that you can use a lead on, instead of lifting one at a time, and let's do this, 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 we've got two there, three, yeah, need one more, you there, big guy, Woo. yeah, see, that's exactly why we want to keep our distance, there we go, ah. there we go, and now we can airlift them, lovely stuff. <laughs> Any case, so we shall take them to our base and put them down in water. Any mob that you do this with, by the way, the distance that we're flying counts as distance fallen, so it'll pretty much insta kill them if I, you put them down on any solid surface now. So let us just plonk them down in the water. There we go, and now I'm just gonna dismiss this guy. I'll just put a temporary fence here, and you all live there now. Okay, right. Oh, uh, with these guys, always use the bigger ones. Like, you know, all Lycanite mobs have got different sizes. So use nice big aspids. The smaller ones will actually fall through here if you have a small aspid. So yeah, use big ones and always use the variants. You know, they when breed, they'll give you variant babies as well. Or I think it's 50% uh, percent chance or something for variant babies, which once again give you double drops. Okay, now for the hard part. We need to lure these guys up here in there while avoiding the poison but if you have poison resist you know it's not a big deal so let's lure them in there and then we bail out the bottom so let us try that now without horrible poison noises everywhere no ah, i don't want the weather sorry just had to clear this weather quickly in case so leading them up here let's see if they are following us yeah mm -hmm. and now we tie them to this one here and we drop out the bottom Boom. Okay, apart from this one apparently, who does not want to be tied in there. So the rest of them have been pulled in except for this big fella for 
some reason. Could have sworn I tied them all to there. But in any case, no matter. Let's go in here and try and get this guy to come in here. Let me fall out the bottom. There we go. And uh, he is supposed to be yoinked in there. Apparently not. Let's try again. You maybe go to this one instead. Can you go in there? He's a big fella. Let me see. I might need to give him a little uh, tappy. Oh, he insta died. No. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And I'm gonna summon one there. Anyway. Boink. And this poison stuff connects to the fence, which is really weird. You'll see it'll disconnect in a second. So yeah, it's a bit weird. It does that with the actual, you know, poison fart block that gets left behind. Any case. So, that is the hardest part to all of this. Then we just remove these. And then we do this. Okay. And we just put some water so like so and like nope i want this all right just put our water here so i'm just gonna do what is it a crate crate yeah crate 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 there we go there's a crate there crate there and there's a hopper here you, you don't need to do this part if you plan on collecting the drops yourself this is just for pure laziness and there we go. Da, 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 da. And I just need some water. Water, water, water. And our little babies will fall there. Okay, and now one more thing. Trapdoors on top here, because they will actually bounce on this water. So let's get a trapdoor. Da, 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 da. And nope. Trapdoors along here. Stop them from hopping out. That should be a done deal. And uh, let's test it out with some mushrooms. Yes, could probably uh, disconnect this by now. Yeah. Um, let me just... There we go. <sighs> okay. So they're untied and mushrooms. Mushrooms, by the way, uh, if you guys, you know, if you need mushrooms for whatever reason, um, you get mushrooms from the poison, you know, the poison liquid farms. They drop a load of mushrooms. And we just la 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 la. And now our little young'uns. Oh nice, there we go. There's a violet, so that's a variant. And I believe you owe me one more. Excuse me. Are you... You're holding out for me. Let's just hang around. I think it might be in there. However... Hang on, let me just get the mushroom. Excuse me. Aha, there we go. Baby on through. Cool. Baby's here. Drops in there. And that is... That farm done, guys. Nice. Cool. Let me do the outro thing, Majig. Alrighty. Cool. There's another farm. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy RL crafting. And this is Zerger saying goodbye. And have a good time. <laughs> Cheers.